Are you ready for your long holiday weekend? Memorial weekend just a few days away. And if you're planning on hitting the beach, don't skimp on the sunscreen. New fruity smelling, full coverage, water resistant and chemical free sunscreen by Hint. We'll have you reapplying enough to make your dermatologist proud. Joining us right now is the founder and CEO of Hint, Kara Golden. Kara, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And you brought some of the sunscreen here. Tell us about the Hint sunscreen. I did. So we uh, launched sunscreen this year, really focusing on the fact that uh, a lot of people believe that they should wear sunscreen, but the experience of wearing sunscreen is not that great. Uh, so we actually took the fruit from our water product and are using it to scent sunscreen. So we have it in three different scents, uh, grapefruit, pineapple, and pear. And then in addition to that, we're pulling out some not so great ingredients that has been called out in sunscreens, including oxybenzone and parabens. So, what is oxybenzone? I'm just trying to, can you explain what that is yeah, and why we don't want it? So oxybenzone is a UV blocker ingredient that has been used actually in 98% of sunscreens today have this ingredient called oxybenzone. It's been getting a lot of attention um, in uh, Hawaii um, for reef damage, but uh, I actually uh, came across it a few years ago in some research when I had skin cancer on my nose, and I looked at ingredients that were potentially uh, exasperating precancer cells underneath the skin. And there oh, was wow. some research around oxybenzone that said that it might not be so great for you. And so I started asking the question, who knows whether or not they have precancer cells living under their skin. And um, so I looked into how can I create a sunscreen? So a lot of people have said, okay, you went from water to sunscreen, like <laughs> big jump, yeah. you know, what, what exactly was that? I mean, the connection really is the fruit, but it's also just like what we've done in water, calling attention to uh, sweeteners and our water product has no sweeteners in it and sunscreen, we're just making it a better experience and pulling out the ingredients that we don't think consumers really need to have. I love it. Being yeah. from the South, yeah. Mosquito Central. Having the fruit scent in it, yeah. does it, it are these sunscreens more likely to attract skeeters? Like, did you do yeah. any research to that? So it's true because some sunscreens question. do. You're absolutely yeah. right. right. Some any sunscreens kind of actually too. attract yeah. bugs. Yeah. yeah. Right. So super great question. We haven't had one single person reach out to us about that issue. People have asked the exact same question. A friend of mine actually took it on a hike in Vietnam where you typically are told to wear yeah. DEET, and she decided to wear Hint sunscreen instead. I said. I don't even want to know about this, but she did it and not it one single mosquito bite. So it's, um, we're confident. We don't talk about it as a bug repellent, but we haven't had one single person reach out to us about that. Where can where consumers can find it? Yeah, we're yeah. going to buy it. So we have it online uh, at drinkhint.com. How much is it? And it's, uh, well, $17.99 um, at most stores or less. Um, we're nationwide at Target as well as uh, CVS actually starting this week. Right so, right yeah, on. Very exciting. Amazon Fantastic. too? And, and on Amazon as well. So uh, yeah, so we're, we're really excited. It's, it's great for kids as well. Uh, we always tell people that when you're applying it, you put it on your hand first. So um, you don't just spray it. It's you get it in your eyes. You put it on your right. hands first and then you put it and on. And you put it on, yeah. but it's, um, it's super great. And people are uh, Allure, Matt, uh, Marie Claire, uh, lots of other uh, great publications have said that it's one of the best sunscreens on the market. So wow. we're very, very excited about Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Fantastic. Thank and you. I want to ask you as a CEO, I mean, the number of female Fortune 500 CEOs have actually gone down, uh, back down to 24 this year after reaching an all-time high of 32 female CEOs last year. Do you think about that at all, knowing, you know, given your, your position as a founder and CEO? Yeah, so we're a private company now, um, but we uh, just crossed into the area of profitability, which is yes. um, yeah. very, very yes. exciting. Congratulations. Right. Fabulous. Um, and I think at the end of the day, it's, uh, you know, you've really got to have a great product, and which I know we do, and then um, the consumer really is, is driving whether or not you're going to be able to be successful. So I'm confident as uh, still not only the CEO, but as the founder of this company that we'll be able to do that. Kara, great. Thanks so, so much. Thank Kara